Hey guys, it's Malam B or Mala for Facebook or Mala Shop. I'm having a snow day today. I'm working from home, so I finally have some time to make this video. Um, it's the 3rd of March, and uh, this will be my February update video uh, for my crafty goals uh, for the month and for the goals I want to accomplish by the, by the end of the year. If you want to check out my uh, original video, uh, you can definitely do so. I uploaded I think it's called Crafty Crafty Goals 2014 or for 2014, something like that. Uh, definitely check it out. I do have a list here, so I'll probably just go down it and uh, hopefully go quick. Uh, my large project for this month was a large shawl I made. I have shown this before on my Castle Crew videos. I think most of the stuff I have mm -hmm. shown, but it looks like this. Uh, this is a free pattern uh, via, I think, Lion Brand. Um, I did use Red Heart, Red Heart yarn. I forgot. Uh, oh, I'm forgettable. I think it's called. Yeah. But yeah, I really like it. I'm really pleased with it. It's actually um, last month. I also did make the same shawl in a different colorway. Uh, it's my large goal. So uh, hopefully for this coming month, March, I'll try to change it up a little bit. Uh, the next is use making two projects using either a knee stitch. Or a stitch that I have not used often. I actually do have two projects. The first one is this owl. Um, it's made with seed stitch uh, via knitting and I also made this sheep which uses uh, treble crochet or, um, or triple crochet. I don't I don't know how you say that or triple crochet or treble crochet but it's also a stitch I don't really use that often and this is obviously a sheep or a lamb or whatever. I really do like this one a lot and actually they both came from my library um, from magazines I had in my library again from either um, you know books or whatever I own I actually forgot what magazine this one came from but it should be in one of my cast or crew videos for February so definitely look it up and for this one it actually came from a book and I made it in a really small um, a really small size compared to what that pattern actually calls for. I use this book. And let's see if I can find the pattern for you. I uh, guess to kind of compare how it came out. Uh, via the pattern, uh, you're supposed to, of course, crochet uh, the body of the owl and you're supposed to use a pillow form, a round pillow form to kind of give it a shape. And then you would uh, tie around it to uh, make the head and, and a body. Uh, this is the owl uh, via the book here. It does have felt details as well, of course. And uh, this is what I came up with. Again, mine is a lot smaller than what the pattern called for. But using the same idea, and of course I did not use a pillow form. I just stuffed it with fiber fill. I actually just finished this, uh, I think it was the 27th or 28th. So I didn't show it on my Catcher Crew videos yet, but it will be coming up on my next one. So I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, the next things are, let's see, I actually did not have a chance to dye yarn this month, which is a little sad. Um, also no updates on my Etsy, which again, I just need to make time for that. Uh, the two next things are, uh, did I make a video tutorials or videos in general and did I post on my blog? Uh, actually, yes, I did make some videos. Um, you guys know I do. I try to do my cast off crew videos uh, on a weekly basis. I did also have a couple of others, including a tutorial for this piranha plant, a uh, garland. <laughs> if you guys want to check it out, also uh, definitely do so. Um, I do make a tutorial, uh, including the pattern for these ones, and I did also post it on my blog, again with a pattern. Um, all my all my links should be down below uh, as far as my blog goes and all my other information. So do check it out. Uh, the pattern itself is again on my blog uh, where I posted the Piranha Plant tutorial as well as my Ravelry where um, you can find me a smile on B. Again, the information is listed below. And I think the last thing here is, oh, um, my sweater. Um, I did choose an actual sweater I wanted to make for myself. I think I told you that guys last time and I have not started on that yet. However, I did finish another piece of wearable of clothing that I would be um, that I will be wearing sometime and um, it's an actual clothing piece uh, not you know a scarf or 
uh, you know, a shawl or anything. So I'm kind of excited about that. It's pretty much my first. I don't know if I'll be including it as a part of or or as a sweater since I did want to make two by the end of the year. But I'm thinking about it. I'm actually starting to make another, uh, which that maybe can come to as one, that kind of thing. But let me show you guys. And it's very simple, nothing special. Looks like this. And I just didn't wear it today because it wouldn't really show off that well with a, you know, with a t-shirt. It's a snow day for me today, so I'm just taking it slow and lounging. I have actually just finished uh, the vest, I think yesterday, so um, it will be featured in my next Castle Crew video. And that one actually also came from my library, uh, from this magazine. And in here, I think it's called the Seafoam Vest. Looks like that. Obviously, I just made mine purple, but I am really pleased with it. I will talk about it more again in my next next Kessler Crew video. And let me show you the next one I'm, I'm working on. Uh, hold one second. Okay, this actually is coming from a book that I checked out from the library. It's from this book. And the one I'm working on is, it's called, let's see. Uh, shaped cardigan with shell sleeves. It looks like that. But I'm just making mine a cream color. Um, I think it's more of an off-white or eggshell color. Um, it's just regular Red Heart Super Shaver. I wanted to try it out um, since I have so much of it. But yeah, hopefully it comes out pretty nice. Um, and um, I'm not that far into it at all, but I'm really looking forward to getting it done. So I think that's pretty much all for this month. Um, I will see you for the next month's update. Bye. Now,